Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP's New Engineering Control Center in Detail. This webinar will discuss and demonstrate in detail the many uses of SAP's new Engineering Control Center. These uses include supporting CAD integration with SAP, supporting multi-CAD integration with SAP, and supporting MS Office integration with SAP. We will also discuss the use of ECTR in managing the complex engineering file and document environment, as well as supporting non-engineering users to manage and access engineering and SAP master data, all using an industry-leading intuitive user interface. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. All right. Can you see my screen, Alan? Yes, I can. Go ahead when you're ready. Thank you. Okay, Dave. great. All right. Thank you, Alan. Uh, hi, everybody. This is Dave Cramp, and Mark will be joining us shortly as we go through our little uh, discussion of, the, of SAP's new engineering control center. So I think we have a really interesting uh, set of topics we can talk, talk about and discuss with you today, and I think you'll uh, find a lot of uh, good content in what we're going to deliver. Uh, as you all know, my screen to page down, you know, we're going to give an ECPR overview as Alan just kind of discussed to you uh, in, in our overview session, and then we're going to go through a demo flow and then have a discussion on uh, the LeverX CAD migration services package that LeverX has put together and is going to offer for our customers. Let's go on a quick uh, review of the Engineering Center. So SAP announced and released the uh, uh, SAP Engineering Control Center uh, last year in the, in the fourth quarter. And the whole intent of this tool is to provide a common user interface to manage not only your mechanical design tools, but also your electrical design tools, your software development tools, your simulation-based tools, and shall we say, again, uh, office tools, as we're going to see today. So it's a, a, a common user interface that is uh, very easy to work with, intuitive, uh, intuitive looking, that provides you a common layer to manage not only your MCAD, your ECAD, uh, your software, but any of, any of your authoring tool environments in a, in a one-stop shop. <clears throat> and you kind of see below the light blue bubbles there, the kind of the gray center square, a rectangle that has that engineering control center talking to SAP via you know, a, a service layer, integrated into the SAP Visual Enterprise tool so that to, to get that information out of the CAD users and out to the enterprise. So going back then to your Imagine Design, Plan, Make, and Service, your capability of leveraging an, a truly integrated PLM ERP stack within your enterprise. So once again, this can provide that consistent and easy to use uh, ability to see information within your authoring tool set, but also not only author, but to view and manipulate it there as well. Uh, it also has the ability to have embedded you know, management capabilities for those tools within there and dashboards, etc. Okay, guys, can everybody see my desktop? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so, so I'm Mark Connor. How's everybody going? I'm the collaborator here. I need to change uh, the forklift, you know, front. So as Dave said, if you notice, I have ECTR open when, when we came in here, and it looks very similar to his, but mine's hooked up to SolidWorks. So same functionality, same interface you're going to use for the different CAD tools. That's one of the uh, messages for this. I can go to my email, and I got a link from Dave that points to this spreadsheet, so I'll be able to pick that link and go if I want. But since I have ECTR open, you know, I kind of want to show the importance of, of the folder, okay? So I can open up this collaboration folder that we created, and, and notice my file is called Markdowner, his is called Cramp Parts, and inside, inside here we can have our folders that we work on. So very easy to organize within ECTR your work. So as I open this ECTR webinar 
folder that we're collaborating with, I can see the list of things. Okay, so the change request, you know, I can double click on this. Uh, then we can go to see the spreadsheet. I can read how Dave filled this out. You know, so it's very easy to collaborate here. Need new list sense design. Old ones failing, increased thickness. Okay, so I've got my job, right? So I know on these lift vents, I'm going to need to go in and, and make a little change. So I got, so I've got the information from Dave, readily accessible. I could also go in and use the queries just like he did to start it, but he's already done that work. So by sharing with the folders, it saves me that time of looking inside the system for my parts, and also the folders help quite a bit. So. It's released, so I'm going to send this fence, and over here you can see that it's released. I'm going to send this to SolidWorks. So I'm going to go ahead and open read-only. It's released, so I'm going to just send it on over, and you know it's, it pops up SolidWorks, so here it is. So this is my part I have to change. I kind of look at it and you know, do some design type interrogation. It says, okay, I know how to change this thickness now. And so by my business practice on a part that's released, I'm going to need to make a new version. Okay, so I'll come right here inside SolidWorks. This is important also. You can do it inside EPTR, but we're going to go ahead and use SolidWorks. Most designers stay in SolidWorks, so we're going to say save as new version. It's going to ask us again, do you really want to make a new version? Yes, we do. So here we go. So it's Taking a place, it takes a little while. Let's copy it and, and you know original files to the new version and this sort of thing. So it's doing doing that back end SAP work that we're used to doing, creating new versions and attaching you know original files. So it's done. So I'm actually going to slide on over to uh, EPTR. Oh, I do want to notice. I want you to notice on this SolidWorks the ribbon is very similar to the ribbon you saw in the NX. You know, that's a, that's a whole new design of the SAP ECPR, one common interface for all CAD systems. So as a designer, you can open up and do quite a bit of the same exact work in each CAD system, where before it was each CAD system had its own pull-downs, own menus, but these are all the same names. They do the same functionality. It's actually a really nice, nice setup. Okay, so I'm back in ECPR. 